let's get a start demo first so this is a drag and tool okay which is we can change easily expression of any images okay so that i already told my locally so let's see the demo first so what i can do uh, let me just this this picture you know you able to see that is smiling right so what i will do i'll just want to change to smiling to uh, down right for example i don't want to keep the smiling so what i will do just start this two point see now this image is not smiling right so such kind of things we can implement or we can just you know do in this tool this is a very nice tool which is implemented as a python using the python code okay also you can just do many many things over here like that for example i just keep in smile again right so what i will do just uh, let me reset let me keep smiling like that okay let me start like this see now it's smiling again and also you want to keep more smiling so you can just keep it once okay now see now stop it and clear it now see now it's smiling very big smile right so that we can do also you can just move it here and there like for example i have a many models over here okay so this is a already generated model but yeah we can change it to as per our uh, convenience okay so like for example i use that lion okay if this lion i want to move it to his here that legs here and there so we can like that like see see the legs is there i want to down to this so i can also do that see very nice way we can do that so we this is a very nice tool okay which is we can change it to whatever image we have so we can modify as per our convenience okay so let's get start for how we can implement okay or how we can actually install in our locally so what you need to do first first just i just remove close everything okay so first you need to uh, install uh, first actually okay so this is a github page okay this is a open source as well okay that uh, that you know dragon tool so this is our code repository so you can just copy this code or just you know clone this code and you can just uh, install or, or just not install just you can you know you can directly uh, keep it code in your directory okay any folder directory so just i keep it over here for example dragon okay so now see i already extracted but yeah you can just you know do uh, from the starting because i already done so you can do okay so what need to do first first just you know uh, you can just directly download okay with the using zip file okay there's a one way another way just you can just clone it okay so for example just copy over here and then go to your uh, folder and you can use your git bash or you know any terminal okay and you can just get clone and you can just clone it okay this is a one way okay let me use command prompt git clone and clone it okay this is the way if do you have a git so you can use this way and the another way is i already told you like you can just you know download over here okay so you can just click and you can download whatever you place okay once you download you can just extract okay so i already done so i'm not going to over here so see i extracted so once you go over here see this is a python based scripting over here okay and this is all of this okay but before moving to code and all okay so what you need to do you have to set up many many things okay so also if you go to this repository 
okay there's a many way i think we can do that okay so one of the way like first actually you have to require that cuda graphic card okay so i have a nvidia graphic card so that's why this is supporting but i don't know what your machine is supported but yeah you can just check it okay so what you need to do first like cuda tools okay check this one cuda tool and just install this tools and installed okay and before this install based on the linux or window okay one thing you have to make sure like this tools sub required for windows because i use the window i use the window so i i face many issues so that i'll show you like i just open a visual studio actually before install this um, you know this CUDA tools you have to install your uh, tools get tools actually some some tools also required okay so which one that I'll just show you so make sure I have Visual Studio okay and if you go to the tool sections okay so see Visual Studio build tools 2022 so that one is required actually so first make sure that one is uh, there and also check this desktop development with C sharp plus plus okay so this also has been checked okay this is another things and make sure over here like this one should be checked okay and now if you scroll down so also these two things actually I I I without use I use I without using those uh, settings actually I facing many issue that's why I already uh, prepare and I'll I would like to share with you like so that you can not face any issue so you can just try only just visual studio tool okay and with this check if it is not working then please make sure all the checks is there okay so once it's done then you just install and then this CUDA installation done okay now what need to next things what need to do next okay now see Kenda or Konda actually sorry sorry the pronunciation so Konda you have to install that Konda so where I will get that Konda so that also you just install Anaconda okay so if you go to Anaconda here you can just install Anaconda uh, software okay so which is actually once you install this anaconda okay so go to the free download here that download for the window so you can just download and install once you download so you are able to see over here uh, anaconda prompt okay so once you open this prompt I already installed so I will not show you okay so this conda prompt open and then you can make sure your conda version is there or not okay so let me check conda is installed or not so see now it is installed that means that is also done for my site okay that also you make sure this should be done okay this is another thing okay so once conda is installed now we'll start to uh, set up our application okay so let me start uh, from the scratch again so so see uh, open your conda okay anaconda uh, prompt okay so once you open your anaconda prompt just change it to your directory where actually a repository so my repository is inside this d project so you have to move to d okay and then cd project and then uh, dragon dragon right so this is my uh, repository so where you just keep it your repository go to go to there okay so now i just move it to there now now what i need to do i need to just create this command so this is first command you have to execute once you execute it will take some time so let see i already done everything so that's why it's saying this done but yeah make sure it should be done first okay so one is done then what you need to do you just change it to your style gn okay so let me 
change it to style gen as well copy this and paste it over here now also this is done now see previous it was base but yeah now still changes to style gen so what is the next okay now next is you have to install this okay so whatever prerequisition in your folder so let me show you dr so it have a file okay this repository has a file so if you go to your file now see this is the file okay so this file has a many things okay let me open this code as a bs code as well okay this repository let me open in a bs code i'll show you what is that actually now see uh, this is that repository and close everything okay now this is first we have just installed that uh, environment file so this is that environment file if you go to that environment file there's a many dependency on those all things okay so that we need to install so make sure first once you install this one okay so definitely you will get one error okay so what is that error i'll just show you one more time if you open here in this repository itself so there is a one error i found in window that one was that CUDA toolkit okay because in my system i just install okay actually in my system i just install 12.3 uh, okay so that's why it was mentioned is 1111 so that actually complaining me so that's what i need to do what is the solution over here you just you know remove this this uh, this uh, line line number 14 from the dependency so that whatever you just install in your CUDA toolkit in your machine so that automatically will figuring out or it will adding over here okay and it will manage actually okay so you don't have to mention your CUDA toolkit version over on this file okay so this is one uh, things and now second things what you need to do uh, that pre uh, requisition txt file so this see this is a requisition txt file okay and here what need to do i need to uh, i need to make sure like everything is whatever pre requisition requisition things that is already installed in my machine okay so what you need to do go back to repository and go back to command copy this command okay and just installed here okay and make sure before this command uh, you have installed python and and also you just install that python uh, the latest version as well okay so so see as of now everything is working fine for this satisfied okay but yeah it will first time so it will take some time okay so once it's done then what need to next okay so this approach for this mac os or linux okay so don't use this one so also this is for the docker so we are not going to docker okay now finally we can run this uh, this command so that uh, we can execute our uh, okay not this one this one actually just install your uh, you know model okay so what is the model if you open your repository okay see here see there is a model some kind of model actually a pre-generated model we provide to us this uh, this command actually the python script download model so whatever all the model of that of that uh, human model or normal the style uh, lion model or cat model okay so that will give us to by default so see once copy and once you run this one let me clear and once you run this one so it will try to install whatever uh, model we have predefined model which is uh, mentioned in our application okay so it is already we have but yeah so see which one is not we have so that is trying to install like that okay so that will take some time yeah you can skip only just install one and then you can skip it okay so as of now i'm just skipping okay so i'm not going to install again because i have many model over here so i can show you over okay so once is done this one also done so what you have to do 
this is the final step okay so here there's a two way actually it repository actually provide us to if you go to one script folder okay so in this script folder you can see there's a gy okay gy.bat file okay so directly you can open this gy.bat file or you can just using that command that python command and you can ex uh, run this uh, this file as well so both way you can just run i'll show you the both way so first i'll just show you open the terminal okay and just uh, run this this file okay so go back to over here and take this one okay and just run and hit enter it will just you know create all the setup everything whatever requirement is uh, required in this application to set up so if it is there in your application in your system so it will run and it will give this some uh, listening point okay so you can run your application in our locally local browser okay now see this one is done and then it's trying to you know a fair plugin okay now see it is given us this listening point okay you can copy here and uh, go to your browser okay open any new browser and just hit enter you will see whatever you know just a, whatever model do you have you are able to see everything over here okay and let me refresh again see like that okay if it is not working in your browser perfectly so what you need to do see for as of now uh, it is working fine for me but yeah if it is not working don't worry about that there is another way we can do that uh, what is that way so let me go over here okay and let me open that command for example this command okay so this command just copy okay and just fire this command and just hit enter okay now see let me show you so these two things have been done so also this is running in my screen okay now see this is learning and also if i trying to something so it should work let me start see it's working if i move to here should work right see and now let me change some model for example one so let me call over here and if you move down to this to here so i can do that easily see it's going to down okay and if i uh yeah i want to close these eyes okay so let me try to close this house okay so let me clear now see this similar close right so like this way actually we can do that